Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out today's episode. I'm RJ. I've been out of town for a week. It is good to be back. We're going to have a big live stream later on tonight, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell with all notifications on. You'll not want to miss tonight's live stream. Now, in today's episode, we have to check out a very mysterious secret that you can find here in Blackwater. No, it's not Gavin. It is something that goes back to the original Red Dead Redemption. I'm going to point that out in today's video. And we also have to talk about some good news coming our way. Rockstar has finally responded to our prayers and possibly given in to the demands of the clowns. We are going to get a brand new update and it's only a few days away. It's going to be out this Tuesday. It's kind of a mysterious way that they told us about the update. I'm going to show you what is coming our way. And then we have to look at the strange secret right here in Blackwater. Much love. Don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And once again, we'll have a big live stream later on tonight right here in Red Dead Redemption 2 as we prepare for the big update. I hope you guys are ready. With that said, let's kick off the video by looking at what's coming our way in only a few days. Here we are at the Rockstar Newswire. GTA Online and Red Dead Online updates coming soon. What is this? Is that a Jaguar? Are they going to add Jaguars to Red Dead Online? I hope so. With both games playing home to more players than ever before in recent months, we know the community has been awaiting news of any updates for both Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Online, and we are happy to share that both games will be receiving exciting new updates in the weeks ahead. For Red Dead Online, players can expect a massive new update to arrive Tuesday, July 28th, featuring a new frontier pursuit that will introduce players to the secrets of naturalism as part of an all-new role, plus a new outlaw pass, tons of community-requested features and fixes, and much more to play and discover in the months to come. Now, keep in mind that the last update, the Moonshiner update, added a lot of glitches to the game. I think a lot of people left Red Dead Online with that update because they would try to do simple tasks and then black screen or worse. We'll see if this update does the same. Hopefully, as they say, they will fix a lot of these troublesome glitches. And of course, it does say secrets of naturalism as part of an all-new role. I really hope that we will be hunting legendary animals. That is my prediction here. I think that, you know, they might alter the trader role, but hopefully this all-new role has something to do with legendary animals. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. It does say that a summer update to GTA Online is also on the way, offering up a fun mix of diverse new content from the game's massive array of experiences to enjoy. Now, it talks about GTA Online getting a heist in an entirely new location. That is extremely exciting. Could it be a new location outside the map? I think most likely we're going to have a huge heist at one of the locations right there in San Andreas, perhaps Fort Zancudo. Community feedback. Thanks to your submissions via our official feedback channels, we have added a number of highly requested features across recent updates. I don't know if I believe this. Are they really listening to us? You know, as I touched on, hordes of Red Dead Online players were dressing up as clowns and getting together, you know, as some sort of protest, and it didn't take long before they actually released a new update. Is it an answer to the clowns? Hopefully, it's just something that is a long time in the making. We will have a new update on Tuesday. We have to see what it is, and of course, we'll be covering it in force here at the channel. Is this going to be a new pet? I have heard from a few people who think this might be a pet coming to our camp. That would be cool to have a pet Jaguar, but I don't see any camp equipment. I think it's going to be a new legendary, maybe just like in Red Dead Redemption 1. Rockstar will give the legendaries a name. This could be Jabroni the Jaguar for all we know, but hopefully we'll be hunting him down soon. Again, let me know what you think in the comments section. But speaking of Red Dead Redemption 1, we're gonna head to that game to look at an interesting secret. It was a seed that was planted in Red Dead 1 that definitely turned into something much bigger in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll meet you guys back in the original Blackwater. You do have to admit this game still looks amazing. It doesn't compare to the ultra realism in Red Dead Redemption 2, but there are a few things that I do prefer about the original, like the soundtrack. I do think that the soundtrack is better in this game compared to Red Dead 2. Now also keep in mind that many of the locations in Red Dead Redemption 2 had not been invented yet. So San Denis, Valentine, Van Horn, Strawberry, they were never mentioned here in the original. So that is interesting when you look at the street names here in the original Blackwater. Right now we are on Sisica 
Avenue. And then you have Van Horn Street. So they never mention the Sissica Penitentiary. It is very interesting that we are currently on Sissica Avenue. Rockstar took that name and turned it into a much bigger location. And that's not it. So let's head down Van Horn Street. The next street is Main Street. So this is basically the Main Street of Blackwater. I gotta say, I think there's a lot that was lost in translation when Rockstar made the new Blackwater for Red Dead Redemption 2, which of course takes place before this game. So, you know, a lot of this stuff isn't fully developed yet in that one. The next street is another location that you can find in Red Dead Redemption 2, Wapiti. The back road is Wapiti Avenue. So you got Wapiti, Van Horn, Sissica, names you can find right here in Blackwater. This is pretty much the grand finale of the original Red Dead Redemption. As you can see, there is no strawberry, nothing to the north. And it's interesting how you also finish in Blackwater in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's kind of like a butterfly effect, you know, with both games finishing off right here in Blackwater. So what do you think, guys? Do you think Rockstar planted the seed? They had these names, and they continue here in Blackwater. Sisica turned into a penitentiary. Wapiti turned into a Native American reservation. And Van Horn, which is just down the river from Sisica, is its own city as well. Let's transport into Red Dead Redemption 2 and John Marston. Here we are back in the past, but somehow Blackwater looks a whole lot better. And as you can see, Rockstar did not change the street name sometime in the future. We still have Main Street and, of course, Van Horn Street right here in Blackwater. We don't know where Gavin is. Get out of here. So there's one more very mysterious secret that I wanted to show off right here in Blackwater. Kind of talking about the future. You can find the same message found on John Marston's grave hidden here in Blackwater in some sort of mysterious Aztecan writing. You do have to climb up on the roof. There are six different locations. If you don't know about this, I'll put a link in the description where I show off all locations. This guy's always going to be looking for Gavin. Maybe that will be part of the new update. But here is the mysterious writing. Go and find all six for yourself. It really doesn't trigger anything, but the writing can be deciphered to say, Blessed are the peacemakers. The same message on John Marston's grave. It also mentions Aotioli. A mythical Aztec goddess that is somehow behind the undead nightmare. So it's very interesting. Rockstar has the same message on John Marston's future grave and mentions the undead nightmare. You also can find the Jade Mask in the San Denis Fence. So Rockstar is really teasing the future and the undead nightmare. I still think there's a possibility that it could come this year. With the timing of the new update coming out on Tuesday, that leaves Rockstar plenty of time to prepare Undead Nightmare 2 in Red Dead Redemption 2, maybe even in Red Dead Online. Let me know what you guys think. Much love. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll have another big one on the way. Another big difference in this game compared to Arthur Morgan. The main protagonist, John, cannot swim. I'll catch you guys in the live stream later on. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?